Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview released a new build, which is actually build 14.3.16. I finally got it on my virtual machine. And a couple of things that I've noticed off the back. So uh, within, let's go inside notifications, all settings. It looks like Microsoft placed the search bar right in the middle within the settings app. It used, to, I believe it used to be in the corner. Uh, I think when you go to updates and security, when you go for developers, a bunch of options has changed a lot. Uh, they gave you so many options now within the developer section. Uh, in the past, these are the only three options that you have, but it looks like with this build, they gave you enable device portal. They give you Windows Explorer settings. They give you remote desktop settings, which is kind of strange to actually see this here. Uh, PowerShell settings, which is pretty cool. Uh, another thing that I know is within Windows updates, you got more options right here to control your update settings. It looks like you're able to change active hours and you can actually tell it what start time and end time to push out updates. So that means if you guys are playing hardcore gaming between seven to eight at night, most likely you got to change that time so your machine won't restart on you because of an update. Uh, they gave you a restart option, which is pretty cool within personalization and you go inside colors and you go all the way to the bottom. They gave you a nice little option now to choose either dark or light. So if, so if you click on light, you're going to get this bright color. If you click on dark, you're going to get this nice dark color, but it looks like the light color is only happening within the settings app. So it's not a, a universal or global setting. So it looks like it's only happening within the settings app. And the last thing that I noticed, which is a huge update, Windows 10 integrated with Ubuntu or Ubuntu integrated with Windows 10. Uh, I, I shot a video out for you guys on how to get it up and running if you're running the build 14.3.16. So I'm going to go to the start menu, right click, go to command prompt as admin, uh, click yes on that. And then from your command prompt, you're just going to type in bash, hit enter. And it's going to automatically log you in uh, into your you know, Ubuntu setting. So let's clear that off. And then you're basically able to do all kinds of stuff, which is, I don't think they'll do LS. It gives you like a directory of everything. I believe you, if you go into Cortana and you type in the bash, it gives you like a nice little run command. So if you click on that, it automatically launches to that which is pretty cool. And the last update that I noticed on build 14.3.16 is Microsoft Edge. Uh, Microsoft Edge seems a little faster, a lot smoother. It looks like Microsoft has added more extensions to their list. The last time that I checked, they only have maybe three of them. And on this build, it looks like they have uh, one clip, one note clipper. And they have pin it button from pin interest, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm hoping they add more extensions to the list or they open sources. So allow other developers to create stuff and, you know, we could test stuff out. Other than that, guys, that's all I noticed with the latest build, which is build 14.3.16 from the Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. Uh, leave comments right below and I catch you guys on the next one.